Hello everyone. I pray that you are doing well. I pray that you are doing blessed. I pray that things are going so well for you. Let me ask you something. Let's say you are having a problem with Joey. But, you know, Joey is saying a lot of mess. Just speaking a lot of nonsense. But, you see, over his right shoulder, a demon feeding him thoughts feeding him information of what to think and what to say so joey is over there just talking foolishly which i don't like to use that word but you see a demon right by his right shoulder being the cause of his behavior. Okay, what would you do? Would you begin fighting and arguing with Joey when you can see the demon being the cause of the confusion? Would you still fight with, I guess I can say, the puppet? You see the puppeteer influencing the puppet. So would you fight with the puppet? If you could see the demon. Probably not, right? because you know that it would be silly to fight with Joey when you can see that Joey is being influenced by a demon. So you can hear what Joey is saying, but you choose to take your focus off of what Joey is saying and focus on the demon. I am going somewhere with this. How is it different? How is this different from everyday life? The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, let me paraphrase it. Our fight is not with humans, but with the demonic. So if that be the case, why aren't we focusing our attention on the demons? For this example, and let me say it in this way, you told me that you would not argue with Joey, like you would hear what he is saying, but your focus would not be on him because you see the demon. So if, so what if you can't see the demon? What if you can't see the demon? If you can't see it, does it mean it isn't there? Hmm. So if you see a person acting or speaking contrary to what the Bible say, just being wrong, if you see behavior like that, do you really have to see the demon to know that it is probably a demon influencing that person? Oh boy. So if you see the demon, 
you would not react poorly to Joey because you see the demon. But if you don't see the demon, you may say, well, it is Joey that is choosing to act very badly. So there is no demon. So let me attack Joey. How silly is that? That is nonsense. And that falls upon me too. Sometimes I think in a very bad way too, which I need to change that. Whether we see the demon or not, I believe many of us know in general what is right and what is wrong. So if you see a person doing what is wrong, more than likely they are probably being influenced by a demon. So if a person comes to you with mess, talking mess, acting, acting like mess to you, you need to fight it spiritually because more than likely, I would say, it is probably a demon influencing that person. So what should you do? What do you mean by fight it spiritually, Uncle Kev? Let me tell you, pray about it fast. Seek God, give God the praise sing to him you know if you are the dancing type which i am not dance to him praise him fight against the demon spiritually i am trying to tell you i don't want to reveal too much but i am in a situation where i go through things a bit often so I know I have to seek God for what I go through. I know, I know it because I don't have power within myself. I don't, I rely on Jesus Christ, which you should too. If you know, please listen to what I am saying. And this message is for me too. If you know Joey is very prideful, have a big mouth, won't listen, very arrogant, very narcissistic, very high pride, and so many bad things. If you know Joey is going to react badly if you confront him in a particular way, why even do it? Why not? Why not go to the root? I believe the demon is the root. The surface is Joey. For this example, the surface is Joey. Go to the root. I believe the root is demonic. According to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For this context. I hope this makes sense. Don't be the type of person to where in order for you to believe, you have to see, I have to see. In order to believe in God, I have to see it. In order to believe in demons, I have to see it. In order to believe in anything, I have to see it first. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. Let me stop here. May God bless you.